Hi, Virgo. This is your bonus reading for September 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Virgo for September 2023. In love. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Virgo for September 2023 in love. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Virgo for September 2023 in love. Show me. Happy birthday, Virgo. Happy birthday. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Virgo... This is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you. Virgo, this is you. This is your partner. So, Virgo, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For September 2023, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Virgo, is the Four of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So, Virgo, listen, you know, you guys may be on a break. Someone here may be trying to recover or someone is meditating on something here. Clarify the Four of Swords for Virgo and their partner. Clarify the Four of Swords for Virgo and their partner. Clarify the Four of Swords for Virgo and their partner. It is clarified with justice. Could be dealing with a Libra. But you may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying that someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. So Virgo, could be dealing with a Libra, but someone here could tell me that something wasn't fair, balanced, or just. Someone could want to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Virgo and their partner. Clarify justice for Virgo and their partner. Clarify justice for Virgo and their partner. It is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. Could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're happy, you want to be happy, you're over the moon, or something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun for Virgo and their partner. Clarify the sun for Virgo and their partner. Clarify the sun for Virgo and their partner. It is clarified with the fool. Could be dealing with an Aries, but the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey, to do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. So Virgo, listen, could be dealing with an Aries, but someone here could tell me, hey, I just want to up and do something, take this leap of faith, set out on this brand new journey. Or someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool for Virgo and their partner. Clarify the fool for Virgo and their partner. Clarify the fool for Virgo and their partner. It is clarified with temperance. 
Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But the universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. So Virgo, could be dealing with a Sag, but someone here could tell me that, hey, I need to heal individually on my own. Someone could be holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise or negotiations going on here. Also a need for you to be patient. Clarify temperance for Virgo and their partner. Clarify temperance for Virgo and their partner. Clarify temperance for Virgo and their partner. It is clarified with the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus, but the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. So Virgo, listen, could be dealing with a Taurus, you guys may be in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain here. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Virgo and their partner. Clarify the Hierophant for Virgo and their partner. Clarify the Hierophant for Virgo and their partner. It is clarify. Oh. With the four of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So, Virgo, listen, this can be about your foundation, your stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or a property. Now, Virgo, it's either one way in or one way out. This is a one-way street, okay? Okay, or a two-way street. <laughs> Depends on how you look at it. I feel like it's about commitment on the brain here, okay? Now, listen, you can tell me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. It was illuminated here. And someone's meditating here on whether or not they can forgive and give a second chance here, and you guys is already established commitment, or whether or not we're going to take this to the justice system for a legal separation or divorce here. However, this can also be that someone is saying, you know what, I want to be happy. I want to take this leap of faith. Commitment is on the brain here, but I need to be patient and think about this and meditate whether or not I want to go to the justice of the peace to go into commitment. So when I say one way street, I mean either we're going into commitment here, someone is thinking about it, or we're coming up out of commitment here. Virgo, you have yourself the hermit. You have the eight of swords. You have the five of cups. Your partner has the ten of pentacles. Your partner has the Ace of Wands. And your partner has Strength. Hmm. So Virgo, like I said, commitment is on the brain here, okay? Very well could be that someone is saying, you know what? Someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. This has been illuminated here. So someone is meditating on whether or not they can forgive and heal things of you guys' already established commitment, or whether or not they need to go to the justice system to maybe end this. However, could also be that someone is saying, you know what, I just want to be happy. I want to take this leap of faith here towards commitment. I'm trying to be patient. I'm meditating on it. Maybe wanting to go to the justice of the peace here. Virgo, you have the hermit. This is you, Virgo. But right now, you're taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. So Virgo, this is you. Clarify the hermit for Virgo. Clarify the hermit for Virgo. What about Virgo? What about Virgo? Clarify the hermit for Virgo. 
It is clarified with the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So, Virgo, listen, you can tell me that you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from their past is in the picture. Someone from your past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here, or this involves children. Now, Virgo, yes, you very well could be meditating on reuniting with this person, whether or not to forgive, okay? Or you're thinking about, should I come in and ask for forgiveness here? You could also tell me that something from the past was brought back up here that's heavy on your mind. You could also tell me that someone from their past is in the picture that's heavy on your mind. Or someone from your past that showed up. Virgo, you have the Eight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling stuck, like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, block communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Virgo, listen, you can tell me that you're feeling stuck in a situation or there is blocked communication. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Virgo. It is clarified with the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone. Demanding truth. Demanding clarity. Speaking your truth. Spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So, Virgo, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight, someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Knight of Swords. For Virgo, it is clarified with the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is someone rushing into you, or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So Virgo, listen, you can tell me that there is a rush to do something. Could be a rushing in, going off, going hand passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Virgo. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Virgo. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Virgo. It is clarified with the Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea, the news or message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. So Virgo, listen, you could be receiving passionate messages. You could be sending out passionate messages. Very well could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion or this is a heated discussion or argument. Clarify the page of wands for Virgo. Clarify the page of wands for Virgo. Clarify the page of wands for Virgo. It is clarified with the seven of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something, someone being deceptive, someone strategically devising a plan of action, someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So Virgo, some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness here, sneakiness or sneaking off. Oh boy. Hmm. Virgo, you can tell me over this deception here. 
that you guys had this rushing and going off, going hand passionately with a heated discussion or argument here, some type of confrontation. And maybe you're blocking them or you're feeling stuck because they're confronting you about this deception. However, Virgo, you could also tell me that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion here. Someone was out being a player and being confronted about it, about this deception here, Virgo. Are you feeling stuck because maybe your mind is on someone from your past here? <laughs> or are you blocking them out because they were the ones out being a player here, Virgo? Yeah. So you have the five of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is you feeling remorse and regret, hurt, crying on the inside over all the time that has spilled out, all the effort and energy that has spilled out, all the love that has spilled out. This is you mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things pan out in the relationship. So Virgo, you're telling me you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed here. However, you could be feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played. Clear by the Five of Cups. For Virgo, clarify the Five of Cups. For Virgo, clarify the Five of Cups. For Virgo, it is clarified with the High Priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition. But you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So, Virgo, listen, you can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or you have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Virgo. Clarify the high priestess for Virgo. Clarify the high priestess for Virgo. It is clarified with the two of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Virgo, very well could be dealing with your soulmate here. But this can also be in an agreement. Hmm. Now Virgo, listen. You can tell me that you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed here. You're not speaking to your soulmate. You guys got into this heated discussion or argument over some type of deception here. You're not speaking to them. But Virgo, you can tell me that you're feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played here. Because you may have, may have had some type of secret, Virgo, concerning a soulmate connection. Or you kept a secret from your soulmate. When we're dealing with the Two of Cups, this can also be some type of an agreement here, Virgo. Unless you guys were maybe primed to go into an agreement and you're kind of disappointed here because you're using your intuition that maybe you don't need to go in this, into this agreement anymore because we're finding out some type of deception that's causing an argument. Virgo. I feel like you're meditating on something here. You're using your intuition here. As the hermit, you're doing some soul searching here concerning something not being fair, balanced, or just here. Some type of deception here. You can tell me that something was illuminated, something came to light about them taking a risk or a chance, or you yourself taking a risk or a chance, feeling remorse and regret here. I feel like if they did it, you're trying to heal individually on your own or is you hoping that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out because you could be over here reminiscing and feeling like, you know what, I don't know, maybe forgiveness is on the table here, Virgo, for you or them. Mm -hmm. But like I said, Virgo, I don't know if you guys were like prime to go into some type of commitment here and you're kind of disappointed because we're finding out something. Hmm. I don't know. You're thinking on it, Virgo. You're thinking on it. You're thinking on whether or not you want to forgive or not. Or thinking on some type of an agreement, Virgo, with this person. 
Virgo, your partner has a ten of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. So Virgo, listen, this can be about your partner's money, assets, resources, abundance. Very well could be that someone has commitment on the brain. But in tarot, tens are ending. So it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Clarify the ten of pentacles for Virgo's partner. Clarify the ten of pentacles for Virgo's partner. Clarify the ten of pentacles for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the, the emperor. Could be dealing with Aries or Taurus, but the emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually a older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. Could be dealing with this Aries or Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the emperor is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child because the emperor is a father figure. Could also be dealing with someone you work with or do business with here. Clarify the emperor for Virgo's partner. Clarify the emperor for Virgo's partner. Clarify the emperor for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the world. So your partner may be at a distance from you, either emotionally or physically at a distance. Your partner may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Virgo, your partner could tell me that there's distance between you guys, emotional distance or geographical distance. Your partner could tell me that a cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again. By the world... For Virgo's partner, clarify the world. For Virgo's partner, clarify the world. For Virgo's partner, it is clarified with the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that your partner doesn't see coming. Something that catches them completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock and awe moment. A moment of revelation. Now, this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So, Virgo, shocking surprise, shocking revelation, something being revealed or a breakup. Clarify the tower for Virgo's partner. Clarify the tower for Virgo's partner. Clarify the tower for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. So Virgo could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this king of swords, coming forth with truthful communication, or making a decision. Clarify the King of Swords for Virgo's partner. Clarify the King of Swords for Virgo's partner. Clarify the King of Swords for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands twice. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So Virgo, listen, your partner could tell me that they have the spark of a new idea. Could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. Virgo, your partner could tell me that they're, uh, they are the ones who is bossing up, taking charge. And as the king of swords, 
making a decision here. Is it because you guys are having this heated discussion or argument all over the place that they're saying, okay, well, we're breaking up, the cycle is closing out, and there's an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics? Or because of this argument and this blow up, a cycle is closing out because, like I said, were you guys primed to go into some type of commitment, move in together, get an apartment together, a home, a mortgage, marriage, whatever, Virgo? Or Virgo, is it that they're wanting to come forward with truthful communication and expose themselves about having started a passionate new beginning here that may be causing an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. It feels like there was some type of confrontation here. We're discovering some type of deception, and you may be blocking them out. You don't even want to talk to them. You're just hurt, mourning, and disappointed here. I want to know if they're wanting to come in to tell on themselves. I don't see any type of an apology going on here. Virgo, your partner has the Ace of Wands again. So like I said, they could be initiating something here. This can be a spark of a new idea. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument. Or starting a passionate new beginning. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Virgo's partner. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Virgo's partner. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the Two of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is your partner being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? So Virgo, listen, your partner's telling me that they're at a crossroads, needing to decide, needing to pick a path here. Now Virgo, your partner could tell me that, hey, we had this passionate, heated discussion or argument where should I go? What should I do? Where should I be? What should I do here? Or Virgo, your partner could tell me that someone started a passionate new beginning somewhere else and now we're at a crossroads as to whether or not we're going to continue our already established commitment or go into some type of commitment or moving in together or getting a mortgage or whatever that we had planned. Virgo, your partner has strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the universe is calling for your partner to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of your partner trying to tame their lusts, tame their passions, trying to restrain themselves, restrict themselves and hold themselves back from something. So Virgo could be dealing with a Leo, but your partner could tell me that they're feeling extremely weak here. Your partner could tell me that they're restraining themselves, restricting themselves and holding themselves back. Or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Virgo's partner. Clarify strength for Virgo's partner. Clarify strength for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with strength. Yeah, strength. You need to double up on that strength. <laughs> double up on that strength right there, okay? Clarify strength. For Virgo's partner. Clarify strength for Virgo's partner. Clarify strength for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the Six of Wands. Mm. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your partner's attention or they're beginning to recognize something or they're getting attention and recognition. So Virgo, listen, your partner could tell me that they're getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. Your partner could tell me that something is being brought to their attention. They're beginning to recognize something here or this is an announcement being made. Virgo. When your partner needs strength, period, and then they need double strength, period, to make some type of announcement. Remember when I said where you guys primed into going into some type of commitment or stability together, you told everybody about it. Now they have to muster the strength and courage and be strong and come and let people know that A is different from what we originally said. 
we're not going to do it again. Or Virgo, your partner is telling me that they're feeling extremely weak here because something was brought to their attention. They began to recognize something here. And I just want to know if you're feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played, some type of secret that you were holding on close to your lap right here about some type of connection you had with someone. Was your mind focused on someone from your past here? This person is coming in to argue with you, confront you, and you're wanting to block them out or block this deception out. I don't know why. It's just pointing back to you. <clears throat> it's just pointing back to you. However, comma, here's your out, Virgo. Here's your out. Because your partner could tell me that, you know what, I'm finally bossing up. I just want to, you know, bring everything to light here. I want to come forth with truthful communication about me having started this passion in the beginning somewhere. I need to muster the strength and courage to come over here and get Virgo's attention and make this announcement of this truth that I'm coming clean with here. Hmm, Virgo. When it comes to your partner, I feel like they're meditating on something here. They can feel like something wasn't fair, balanced, or just because something is coming out now about them taking a risk or a chance, or you taking a risk or a chance, trying to figure out whether or not we can heal this thing here. Someone may want forgiveness so that we can have this already established commitment or go further into whatever we had planned to do here. I hope you guys are seeing me, hearing me, understanding me here. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Virgo. Ah. I really want some Pizza Hut pizza. <laughs> I'm telling you, just a personal pan would be good. Two personal pans. Just two and some hot wings. Just for me with ranch. Okay? Yeah. Obsession. <clears throat> Must have. Indulgence. I, I want to indulge in some Pizza Hut. Okay? Obsession. Must have. Indulgence. Mm. Obsession. Some type of obsession here. I want to see. Let's keep over here what else for virgo and their partner mm, look like jelly filled donuts right there i can take some Krispy Kreme too or some stuffed crust on this right here <laughs> um divine feminine here divine feminine okay the empress energy over here so divine feminine okay obsession must have indulgence here okay so I don't know who's going through that right now. I'm going to take a look at the Lover's Oracle for you, Virgo. <clears throat> Divine Feminine. Someone could be expecting. Or someone's just standing up in their power. Emperor and Empress here. It says, freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. It's nothing stopping you. To doing whatever it is you want to do. The path is clear. Either we're going to walk away from whatever agreement that we had in place. To go into some type of commitment here. Or we're going to forgive. But like I said, I don't see any cards on the table about forgiveness. Un unless I look at the crown and energy. But when I look at you guys, I don't see it. Unless you're over here pondering whether or not you're going to you know, reunite with this person, but I don't see anything speaking on forgiveness. I just don't. I just do not. I can see someone coming clean, possibly. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Virgo, this is your bonus reading for September 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at herimmortalmaj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.